<coughs> Hi, uh, starting again. Uh, don't know if this is working. Odd. Nope. <coughs> uh, is my typing working? Don't tell me I can't type anything. Am I logged in? Size is okay, all right? I wonder. Uh, we got one minute fifteen to go. Got my Diet Coke reservoir here. <clears throat> uh, okay. Okay, 52 seconds to go. 48 have entered. There's quite a few qubits here at stake, 10,000. Time control, two minutes. I'm hoping lag being a bit reduced if I've uh, reduced the size of the old webcam thing. I don't know, that seems a bit laggy, a bit slow. So, um, <clears throat> 2043 average rating. Um, okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, so night C three. Pre move. It's the, it's the mat. That means stop in Greek, it's the matter. So he's gonna stop my attack. Ah, well knight d6 would be embarrassing, wouldn't it? Bishop g7. Well knight f6, if d5, that would be quite funny. If knight f5, knight f6 is quite funny. I mean he's got a problem here. Hang on. Knight d6 is good anyway. Okay, going in for that f7. Like a hawk. How does he defend F7? <clears throat> no, no way. I think you can start a new game now. Let's this gambit here, open up the lines. Oh, let's go back there then. Bishop may free and then so there's no bishop f8 here now there is what about h4 h5 well bishop f8 there would have been good Take here just to simplify. Oh, I don't really to take his mistake. I'm arguing that now since seeing a video on YouTube. It's a weird video because it relates to um, maintaining the tension and other things, which I have used in the past. In over the board, if you maintain the tension, you're you're creating more potential for winning and losing. I think uh, when you maintain tension, um, and you know a concrete measure of that. Let's just let's win this actually. Hang on a sec. So queen g8, queen f7, there's 95 queen g8. And queen f6, queen g6, no, not queen g6, that would be a mistake. Okay. Um, queen g6 here. Queen e7 to g7. Uh, or f7. It's clearly going for a stalemate. I think I might have him here. Uh, no 
Okay. Uh, so NMA from the heart's chest thing is there. They're very strong. Hammer in real life. <coughs> Oh there, there's windows. Being, uh, what's that? Okay, e4. So if knight e4, bishop c5 is usually quite good. Mind you, queen h5 here. It doesn't go for that. Get the king up for then c6. What about knight, just knight d7, try and challenge this knight for queen e8 to g6 later. That looks pretty good. I think I'm a bit bored with my own crudeness though, crude play all the time, but it's war zone, you've got to win quickly. So it's kind of logical, but yeah, it's fun. It's often fun, this, this style. Um, Oh no, f4, f3. It, it is crushing though, that's the thing. I mean, rook h2 if f3 and then queen g3. f3, it's really, really crushing this position. Um, I think I'll just sack a rook for an off. So I get queen h3 and There's nothing quicker, is there? Okay. <clears throat> A two one eight six. So daily warzone final is this one. Warzone fanatics and close. Um And this game is not starting. Die coat break. Okay. Um, what do I do? Watch my position go by. Chat on the cafe. If you want to come to the King's Crusher Cafe, that'd be cool. Because <clears throat> this is the chat window which won't interfere with the stream. So um, if you want to chat about it's easier here actually if I just flick to this tab. Then. Uh, <clears throat> We got some new mods in on the uh, chat on Twitch. I hope um, if there's any bad stuff, you can can you report it here, or, or just tell the mods or whatever. Well, the mods hopefully will be around, but I'm pointing mods at the moment. Um, this game didn't start, so I'm at the top of the tree at the moment. Okay, not that anything down it. Nope. Quick win. Okay, that saves four minutes. Get a point, point multiplier. I think I'll play this for the quick. No. Stopped all that. That's naughty. Stopping my bishop c4 end. So I'll just finish it. End bishop b5 or whenever. Can I get onto this f7? But knight takes for knight d5, that should tear the opponent's king to shreds. Ah. Right, I think black is collapsing. I'm being optimistic, I suppose. But c6 is going to drop, so I get some piece back. Then there's also queen h5. Um, there's also the rook. What do I take first? I think the rook. Um, now, I think, well, there's the knight. He wants to give me lots of pieces. I think he's giving me too many. Could I try and open that position with d4 and bishop f4? And there's d5. I want to keep the tension not take as a mistake but I think taking is not a mistake here <laughs> because this diagonal can get onto it and there's a4 or something or over here chess is a concrete game no general rules chess explains keeps telling me concrete game 
but some general rules are more attractive than others to follow <laughs> take the mistake rhymes you got a, a rule there which actually rhymes to take is a mistake eight arms okay and it also maintains the tension a lot in the positions so if you want to win rather than draw avoiding simplification which I'll play c5 he knows my uh, knight c6 too well he's got a nice system from last time I played him in fact here this, is, this isn't good I'm going to play like Morozovic style to g6 I don't usually play this plan but it's just again tailored with my opponent here eight arms uh, to avoid an issue with um, hopefully we're trying to take on e5 prematurely when he just sort of sacks so I'm ready to take on e5 I'm ready to play something like knight a5 or knight e5 this f file type capturing way is breaking the rule yes I'm breaking a rule but I want f file pressure I want to double on the f file maybe g5 g4 um, Aronian did it recently so can't be that bad uh, you know if one of the most solid players in the world captures away from the center that's just more evidence that um, you know chess is a concrete game so why is he giving me this f3 two pieces uh, there now yes okay I could be on f2 now and also c4 also there's bishop h3 if he ever took over there um, so do I wait for this king g2 and queen f3 for bishop h3 it's a bit naughty but it's a bit nice I like the bishop h3 tactic um, there's bishop d5 let's, let's be sensible about this bishop d5 Right, where is this queen going anyway? Plays a check or something. Am I in danger level here? Knight d4. Hang on, knight d4. So if I take and then knight f3, queen d8 doesn't win the piece just yet on d5. There's no killer check here, is there? So I'm threatening now knight. The rook g3 doesn't work for knight f3, he just takes with the queen. Knight e2 is good. Then rook f2. That's pretty crushing. Can't see a problem here. Why does he want me to do that? Take that. Is there a check of something? I can just take that rook. I don't understand. I don't understand. I don't like taking. Oh. I'll throw this in first. <laughs> oh dear. This is too much this to take as a mistake business. Can't get it out of my head now. It's like a bad generalization or something. <laughs> oh wipe I think you wiped me out before. Uh, this guy oh there um, oh there I, I have I have a bad bad feeling about this game I've got to say <laughs> I remember the name I remember being wiped out um, let's see how it goes anyway okay for the, the uh, descent of pessimism actually optimism now I've got a pin pin and win optimism um, not really much of a pin. Um, can I just get this knight to f5? If I get the knight to f5, there's knight h6. Alright, so he, he's undermining b3. Or does, oh, it's pinning that. Okay. Okay. Get back on the F file now. What about H3 King H2? I 
don't oh, C4 is going to punch my structure. He's definitely going in for my structure. He's bishop B3 almost. Yes. Don't like it at the moment. Can I get the queens off? Would that help? It's bishop b3 almost. How about this rook and pawn ending? How does it go if I play bishop c4? Would it be absolutely terrible? Just restrict this bishop for a moment. Alright. I got past pawn. Past pawn time. Get the bishop to d5 and then play b5. So play b5. Alright, pass pawn is looking good. Yes, looking very good. Just need to get the rook in on the game. Rook a2. Sacrifice the old. Um, C free pawn. Oh, it's game over, surely. Come on. He's not playing on, is he? 2181. I'm sure he's pretty crushed me before. <laughs> okay. 42. The answer to life, the universe, and everything. Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Blue Lantern. Is this guy dangerous? I think he's crushed me before as well. <laughs> Got a bad feeling about some players in this tournament. <laughs> Probably everyone has at some point, anyway. Ah, so Bishop takes against Castle Queenside. So is bishop c6? Why is he on zero anyway? Is he just joined this tournament or something? 2, 2, 3, 6. Uh, he takes bishop b5. And to play this pin. Alright, I'll take here. Almost knight g4 is going to... Bishop g4 is going to skewer my queen. After f4. Something to bear in mind. Um... So I think I'd rather just get out of the way here, under all the pawns. Win that rook. Maybe queen d2 and win the rook. Right, double the one. Maybe double this one. I don't know. It's not brilliant, but... Um, all about coordination now. Like, get the king to cover d6. Get an outside past a pawn. Without losing f5, ideally. Okay, so he plays knight five, but play rook d7. I'm going to keep this knight again. Is he going to just attack that? Oh, he's giving me pawn mobility here. So that passed the A pawn. Get the G file now. If I get the rook off, that would be, that'd be brilliant. But he's not going to nail that. Hang on a sec. Um, control C5. Lose E5. What about A3? Check. That will win the bishop on C3. Ooh, stomach. If he plays knight e3, that is. Uh, there's no knight c4 there. Can I get this rook off? Let's 
try and avoid a perpetual. Although now I've just almost lost the exchange. What about F3 as an idea for F2? Get this rook behind. No, no I'm losing bits. Got this pass pawn here. This is looking grim. Ten seconds behind. So I need some fast pre moves. Twenty four seconds, it's resignable. Ah oh. Oh dear, That's sad. <clears throat> Sometimes, I don't know, you got to shake it off and just play, especially if it's just blitz chess. It's not that bad. But it was looking good, that position was good, you know, there's a kind of Disappointment about it. <clears throat> so, I don't know, knight e5 or something. Double here. So bishop d3 here, queen h4, rook h3. It's crude, it's monotonous to play like this, but it's effective. Uh, is there anything better though? Um, I think queen h3 just... Usually in club games, this never happens. There's never a dangerous bishop, really, ever. There's no people just hide with their king. They do some weird stuff with the king. It never happens. There isn't exploitable targets. That doesn't exist. It's just an online thing. It's just in war zones. This happens. You get a dangerous bishop. Um, I've beaten this guy before, but he's dangerous. Let's try and beat him. Oh, I've just lost the pawn. Offer a draw. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's not. He did accept a draw. <laughs> I didn't mean to just give up a pawn for nothing. I thought he was going to play bishop b2. That was very, very silly of me. Why did he accept the draw, pawn up? Obviously, he's afraid. <laughs> Now, now you're wondering why am I playing boring openings? Yeah, because sometimes I get fed up with playing in the same way over and over again. So actually, I do play d4 and e4 in real life, and c4 and other stuff even. Because I don't know, I just like variety. It's like it's like going to the same kind of restaurant all the time. So knight f5, and then some sort of disaster on. Um, okay, h3 prepared, king h2, f4, knight f5. Knight d5 could be handy for queen c7. Right, let's just try this for a moment. f4 and e5 is also attractive. So a knight e4 here, or knight d5, what does that do? That gives me knight b6, that could be handy. If queen a5, bishop c3, queen c5, b4, I don't know what knight, this knight b6, I can win that, play e6, fracture this, takes queen g6, so taking e6, devastating, that could be handy for knight b6. I mean, this, this is a different, you know, this is a change of scenery. What about f5, just, just winning a piece? Surely, it's a change of scenery from the usual, you know, e4, but it's a bit slower, isn't it? But he's two one nine three as well. He's quite high rated. So, if queen takes, actually does knight e6, attacking the queen. If knight takes, I just take. He takes. 
Then what? Forcing moves. Queen h7 doesn't work. Bishop e4 would be a forcing move there. Knight f6. So let's see. Knight e5. Take. Take. Bishop e4. Knight f6. <clears throat> well, what about simple stuff? Knight e5. Knight e. And he's queens on e5. So what is this? Some sort of cheapo? I can't see it. G6 is still going to drop if he's not careful. Uh, I think knight f5 though is more juicy looking for knight d6. Opening up this bishop. Is he going to play knight e5 and open up the bishop? Right, so I'm on g7, so there's knight h6. Potentially, not here. There's knight d7 for knight f6 and queen f6. Again, doesn't do anything, but it looks pretty, so I'm going to do it. Alright, can I just somehow dislodge the protection around his king? So h5, he moves the knight. Alright, can I get the rook in? Well, there's f7 is vulnerable now, or h8. It's pretty crushing to me. Okay. Okay. What about Schliemann? Haven't played that for a while. I had to give it up because of tactics on this diagonal. Got a bit boring losing on the diagonal. But apart from that, it's a good opening. <laughs> if you like losing, losing every like one in two games, like here, I'm probably lost. Knight f7. <clears throat> or is it an exchange sack? This is the mystery. <clears throat> Central pawns. Knight can win at some point in the future. Big initiative here. Can castle queenside. Some might argue this is a crushing position. That white's been crushed. <clears throat> I can I can get that knight later. No worries. I've seen this before. Maybe even I forget about the knight. I just play knight f3. I just try and mate the opponent on um, you know the king side. <clears throat> but he, unfortunately, Queen G5, he can stop all this nonsense. Queen G5. But does he? Maybe takes. Maybe the center crashes through. Um, how would I get the rook in? Um, can I evict this queen? Can I? I don't know, actually. I, I might push this too far. That's the problem. So queen h3, and I'm threatening queen g2. So he plays queen g3. This isn't looking that good now. I think I've pushed it too far. Alright, what do I play for here? There's g5, knight h5. Knight f4, try and get the g file open. What about bishop d6 and e4? So he plays knight g6, I play e4. His queen moves to g2. I protect e5 at the minimum anyway. So his knight's still stumbling around. So he's now faced with e4. I think this position is difficult to play uh, for white, if nothing else. I've got this big center. I've got knight g4 now. So that's protected by the bishop and the queen. So I'm threatening maybe knight h2 to f3. Then I take another pawn to reinforce e2. And at the same time, g6 is still a problem. So here, knight f3 check or bishop takes. 
which takes first check. So I get another pawn reinforcing e2. But now he's going to play queen g3. All that over there. So again, it's looking dubious, a rook down. But there's d2, if I want to get some material back pretty soon, without losing d5, d2. Now if he puts both bishops and pre, that would be good for rook d6, unless there's rook c1, there is no rook c1. So both bishops are skewer, skewered on the skewer. Right, let's go for this ending. The king's kind of trapped in the box. Well, it was. Get this one to target h4. Nope. Okay. I'm not going to get mated, am I? Just in case. Now, I know it's opposite colored bishops. But I don't really think he can defend this. I shall protect this one. Go over here. Or rather, I don't think he can defend this with the time constraints. Okay. Attacking position. Oh, there's knight g4 seemed a bit of a pain actually for c2 just then, in case you were wondering. What is this cheek? This d5, what is this cheek? Doing a gambit on me? Uh, I've got the f file ready to tear open, but there's a discover check. Does that actually win a rook or something? Yes, probably. So I'll try and get that bishop off the diagonal. This queen h4 is going to be devastating soon. What about f5 here? Or well, queen queen h5 threatens actually uh, bishop e6 and queen c5 if he takes. He takes the knight. Oh. All right, what about just bishop g5 f6? Or takes f6, I'm on the bishop. Take is a mistake. Right. Now here, probably taking is a mistake because my king's, I don't know, in trouble. What's happened here with the f file? Uh, he's going to play rook f. This is not nice. Let's get the queens off. I'd rather play with the queens off, actually. Mobile pawns get the d file. So rook d7. If I get rook d7, e file would be happier. Can we get the king to e4? Play e6 or f6, king f5. Pre moves are quick with the king anyway. So if I take in a rook h1, that, that would be good. So bishop f7 for rook h7. Um, I'll just just stop the king from going over there for a sec. For rook h8 to be a threat. Take some mating. That king is pretty good. This is a tail like king. How does he escape? There's f7. The king's in the mating that. That was pretty cute. Okay, there's some quality after all in these uh, two minute games, sometimes. 
so 2146. This guy took some games off Chess Explained earlier. Let's try and get a good position here. He's overprotecting e5. Beware of the Nimzovic player. He's overprotecting e5. So for the moment, I'll let him recapture there. I want to play g5 of h5. I want to castle queen side. Queen b6, castle queen side. h6. Oh, okay. Okay. I still refuse material. And queen b2 is tempting. I can't resist. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I can't resist taking material. I don't know. I'm going to be punished for it, aren't I? He's got knight d2. Oh, he's giving me a rook. Okay. I can take on d4. It's positionally based to get the center. Attack the queen. There's no time for bishop c6. So I've just munched rook. Knight e5 is on the cards. It's queen e5 with queen g7. He's not really going to play on a rook down, is he? Rook d7 if, I, if I'm really worried about queen g7. Uh, Alright, is there cheapos on the cards? There's something like c7, c6. But if I get f3 in, I have my own cheapos for him to deal with. I do seem to be a rook up. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. So there's rook c6 as a cheapo. I just take with a pawn to avoid losing the rook on h8. Right, he's going to win h7. I check and win that knight then. Stop that one. And there's queen d6 or something. I just stop that then. Okay, fine. Isn't this convincing enough? <laughs> oh dear. He's, he's a walking zombie now. Okay, so. <laughs> One, two, eight. So this guy's two, two, one, eight. Play closed. Switch the clothes rather. Uh oh. What have I done? Ah, oh, get the queens off here. Invite the queens. I don't like it. I've been done over. I'm afraid. Tension's gone. Oh, I don't know. C3. Oh, I'm going to lose a pawn now. Do this. Oh, no, I won't. Hang on. Uh, do I do resign now or just, I don't know, just try and do something? I'm going to lose another pawn soon. Alright, some optimism. Optimism, optimism. Is it justified at all? Knight d3. He's a bit reckless over here with these pawns. Am I threatening anything? King e2. He can play knight g3, check one another pawn. And protect this one. Tactically. So have I got anything on the cards? I can take and take on c5 now. Whatever, whatever that's worth. It's going to win c2 or something. Do I get an opposite colour bishop situation? So, plays a check. I'll go here to avoid rook h2 being check. I can attack this. Am I back in the game? That's the question. If I play h3 just to, to 
temporary measure I'm on A6 you can't take here B3 so I'm on A6 right now Knight D3 just centralize and take maybe Bishop E3 okay I'm on the defensive for sure He's putting the pressure on. Can my king do anything over here? Just to uh, his good king's gonna come in to haunt me. King g3. Hang on, king g3. Then my rook can try and do something about his king or not. Nope. I'll wait for the king to go over there for a sec. Uh, rookie five. Right, oh, I can't let him. I think this might work. I have a feeling. I have two feelings. One that it's completely lost. The other that my H pawn might come to the rescue. This lost. Ouch! <laughs> Twenty minutes to go. Oh. <laughs> I think I wait two minutes. I think, uh, especially after that game, just wait two minutes here. That was just sad from the opening, wasn't it? It's was just sad. Um, uh, sad, sad game. Okay. Seventy-two viewers. You're watching my rubbish chest. Seventy-two of you. Oh, <laughs> blimey! <laughs> oh, I'm flattered. Um, I mean, what can I say? I apologise for that low-quality game just then. Um, but you'll agree that there were some positional masterpieces before that, which make up for here. <laughs> <laughs> the tournament standings. Okay, I'm doing well at the moment. Um, someone's given me a point. He's not moving. Angus, name him shame, Angus. Is he on the site for a long time as well? He's on the site for a long time. Where has he gone? Couldn't he just withdraw? These people, they just hang around and, you know. Oh, he's, he's resigned. Thank you. <laughs> TCF Farco, okay. The chosen few, okay, yes. I think. Right, so well, actually Bishop C4 and D5 might have been interesting. Something like G4 here. Breaking all the rules. The rules are meant to be broken. So Bishop G5 trying to win the Queen. He's noticed that unfortunately. He wants to draw. Is his position worse? That's the question to ask. I believe you know it might be. Um, but on the other hand, is it easy to prove? F4. Okay, I've got weaknesses everywhere. I'm hoping my weaknesses are not exposed. Ah, oh, there's this one trying to crash through on d5. That wins the exchange, but it weakens my king. Maybe it wasn't such a hot idea. I don't really want to do that. 
I take care first? Does that improve things? For taking on A8 later? What about Queen F4? Just I was Bishop H3. Right, I'll take care now. And now Queen F4. And then move the king off the light square. So this is pinned officially. So then rook d1, uh, that's the knight. Where's the knight going? Rook d6. And e6 or e6. Maybe trying to use this pin. It's got queen e2. There's e7 coming up, putting pressure on this whole thing. There's rook d8 trying to queen that past pawn. If rook e8 or queen f8 once the bishop moves. So knight d6 I take, rook e8, rook d8. Oh, his bishop moves, then there's queen f8. Or in fact, just rook takes e8, and then. Um, so is the bishop going to move? Was it g6? If g6, that's a pain, g6. Um. Oh dear. Okay. Well, if we get this queen off this diagonal, or what about just changing off queen's hair to be the exchange up for nothing, and then rook f8. There's not much counterplay there, is there? Because the king's cut off. Protect this pawn just in case. He's on 109. Good one to beat there. So Kasparov's running away with it oh, at the moment. Oh, I don't like playing like this. I like to play like Karpov really. I've given a bad impression about being a hacker, I think, on YouTube. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. Oh. What about if I just take on d1? Do I have um, some sort of gambit going on? He's got c5, unfortunately, here, if you want it. This doesn't look very pleasant, actually, in this position. Um, as gambit sort of go. This isn't much of one at the moment. Now it is, because he's taken, he's, he's broken the golden rule. Clearly, I'm out taking. He's given me d3 control. He's given me the d file on the plate. He's given me development. So bishop d3 might be dangerous, but I think I'm going to go for this. Uh, right, so bishop g4 is not working. I'm not trying to undermine this lot. What does he do? So bishop d3 if he takes. Waiting for something like f4 for bishop g4. That's a downer, isn't it? That forces an exchange of rocks. I think he's onto something here. So, um, what do I do here? I don't know. If I take and bishop c4, if he takes, can I get my bishop in somewhere? One minute to finish me off. Stop this knight g3. There's a knight d4, bishop d7. He can play e6 to win c6. There's about c5 just to get off this. Mm, too late. So he's going to win another pawn. What about getting the king over here? Nope. Because of that bishop. Get this bishop off. There seems to be stuff I can do for resistance. Doesn't look too bad. If I fix this pawn bishop g2, h4, h4, bishop g2. Oh. Alright, let's put this bishop over there for some reason. Okay. Let's stop this for a moment. Where do I want my king here? He's running a bit short on time. There's bishop g7 if he wants that pawn. If 
I get my king here, I can release the bishop from prison. Bishop can go somewhere. Bishop, I don't want to lose that pawn. Uh, try and win this one when I can. He's going to play king e2, isn't he? He's going to stop bishop d1. No, he doesn't. He's going to win it at f5. 20 seconds. Stop point d5. Get the king back. Oh, maybe not. It's looking grimmer. Losing that material now. Oh, I'm losing b6 as well. This is grim. Can I get these pawns off? It's a last ditch. Trying to draw. Ah, nine seconds. Um, unfortunately, I can't stop that pawn, can I? to go that was horrible horrendous when, when these games are bad they're bad from the start <laughs> from the opening that's a good indicator oh dear oh dear <sighs> playing the threshold has gone up how badly I've been playing in this tournament <laughs> So, what about h4, h5 here for g6? So, bishop, oh. right, I want e6, so bishop h3 for e6. Maybe unless he wants the exchange sack. So f5 for rook f. Just king g2, more subtle, bad at rook h1. Hmm. So he plays bishop h6 as a last ditch thing or something. Does he? Rook G8 of King F8. Um, is there a precise move I can use? I can't see one. Oh, there's Rook E2 can't play. If I'm not careful, I'll check. Hang on, there's the old checks in a row to get Queen G7 in. No, no need for an Rook E2 there. Very instructive point. If the position had more counterplay, that would be really dangerous not to run the, the attack with checks. Where are he at? He's on 156, so I'll just offer him a draw like a chicken. He's not going to accept, is he? So it's reverse Grand Prix. E4 uh, for E3, hopefully, is reasonable. This looks quite crushing, actually. I'm surprised he's let me uh, do this so far. Of course, he wins C7. Now I'm getting crushed. There's knight f2, potentially uh, 
Well, I can now, surely I can now that because of rook d8. As d5 is on. Oh, below me. It's too tactical for me. That makes me want to give up this game. That move. Okay, so um Oh Bishop D five, it's over. I, I give him that. It's, it's all collapsed on the Queen side. It's a shame but uh get it over and done with. I was optimistic there for a minute. But uh Primo's kicking in. Going for the hack attack. So knight somewhere. Um, get this pawn. Then go maybe this diagonal. B three, bishop a three. So A4 bishop A3. So knight D6 on the cards. I get that knight and get the other one to F6. Knight D2 to E4 to F6. D6, no, 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 F6. So F4 and then peel up in the F file. Okay, so double up rooks here. G4 is get rid of the knight first. Knight F5. Alright, so I can I can play uh, knight H7 is also interesting here. Um, D5, uh, which is just triple or which is bishop e6, maybe bishop e6 for for knight e8 for rook f7. Queen h7 takes rook f8, it's got king e7, bishop e6 takes. What about just uh, rook f8? Or rook, rook e7, rook e7, queen f7, king moves bishop e6. Rook in check, win the rook. Um, or skewer the queen with bishop e6. Or rook f7 of king d7. Um, okay, 3 minute 47. Can I get how how high can I get up there? Hopefully to I don't know if I'm lucky. Uh, a bit higher. I think gambit. Play quickly. Put primers in. Please bishop c4. I take. I take on d1. Maybe bishop g4 first. Doesn't do f3, plays king there, my castle, if knight c3, friendly rook d1, so I let him, oh, I'll play f5 maybe, So, okay, so knight d4. No, it's not happening here, is it? Okay, knight d4 coming up. Now knight f3. It's a weakness. It takes here. It's 
So I'm threatening knight f3. He's got no bishop e6. That's interesting. It's two pieces for the uh I'll play knight for his wish. Oh, knight f4 would have been his wish as well. Hold on a sec. Did I just play a move? Rook takes d8. I did, didn't I? Um, these knights are not brilliant, are they? Just yet. Uh, I don't know. Blimey, I'm confused now. Bishop e6 is dangerous. Knight f4 take h3 maybe. Knight d4 is also useful. That was. Is he going to move the rook away? So I can play knight f4 takes h3. What about this um hmm, knight d3 is he gonna take nope he takes on f3 I can Ah what about knight e1 check would have been good winning the bishop I think now just try and win on time I think 11 seconds left. Oh dear. Six thousand cubits. Fifth, okay, it's better than nothing, but uh, I thought I was going to win that one. <sighs> Tom finished early. Um, I wouldn't have caught that many people up anyway. So uh, I hope you enjoyed it anyway. So, uh, Comments or questions on uh, live stream? Um, okay. Or YouTube, maybe one day. Thanks very much.